welcome students in today's session we will be studying geography chapter 6 and the name of the chapter is natural vegetation and wildlife resources in this chapter we are going to study how natural vegetation got distributed on the planet earth as well as availability of wildlife resources in it introduction the growth of vegetation depends on temperature and the moisture we as we know that vegetation plantation uh, which required temperature as well as moisture as the temperature high and lot of moisture availability then the vegetation growth of vegetation we can use to say rapidly it also depends on factors like slope and thickness of soil also vegetation depends on the factors such as slope such as thickness of soil type of soil etc the type and thickness of natural vegetation varies from place to place because of the variation in this factor as we can see some of the areas where thick forests are located okay some areas where scanty vegetation is there why this happen because of thickness of soil some some uh, some some areas where slope is there cause of that also uh, the variety in vegetation then also uh, some places which receive high temperature lot of moisture then also we can uh, we uh, we can see over there thick vegetation such as tropical uh, tropical belt we used to say there temperature high temperature and due to lot of moisture availability thick vegetation so here the type and thickness of vegetation varies from place to place varies means different from place to place how it is we will going to see from this now uh, first of all cla classification of natural vegetation natural vegetation which uh, which uh, you know uh, especially uh, especially derived from nature okay natural vegetation is generally classified into three broad categories remember forest grasslands and shrubs in these categories natural vegetation is uh, natural vegetation is classified see forest it grows where temperature and rainfall are plentiful lot of availability of rainfall as well as high temperature then uh it support a tree cover it supports a tree cover means it very much uh, helpful to grow tree uh, or plantation over there depending upon these factors dense and open forest are grown grown see depending upon these factors means temperature and rainfall dense means thick and open forest are grown where the land is available and high rainfall temperature high temperature what is happening there thick vegetation cover spread over there second is grassland which grow in the region or region of moderate rain moderate rain uh, where not high or not very low rainfall in such a region grasslands are developed then the shrubs thorny shrubs and scrubs grow in the dry regions means where very less water availability there thorny shrubs and scrubs grow so natural vegetation broadly classified into three categories forest grasslands and shrubs again in the forest there are various types of forest tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest temperate evergreen forest temperate deciduous forest mediterranean vegetation and coniferous forest remember these are six categories six types of forest which spread over the planet earth tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest are also called as tropical rainforest if we will see here you can see my dear students this is planet earth this is 0 degree it, it shows equator and this is tropic of cancer this is tropic of capricorn so this belt is called as tropical belt 
and here these tropical areas receives straight sunlight that's why here temperature is also high and as we know that due to the oceans what is happening due to the straight sunlight water get evaporated and then what is happening it is converting into steam and then here in this area availability of humidity in the atmosphere so lot of humidity in the atmosphere we used to say over here and cause of that tropical evergreen forest uh, which are uh, which are all the time green in appearance here see tropical evergreen forest are also called as tropical rain forest these thick forest occur in the regions near the equator and close to the tropics as i shown in the figure that near to the equator and close to the tropics between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn these thick forest uh, available over there these regions are hot and receives heavy rainfall throughout the year because of why because of the availability of moisture in the atmosphere as there is no dry season the trees do not shed their leaves you know trees uh, if the water water is not available or if the dry season will be there trees shed their leaves to reduce water storage but in this region means in this tropical region there is no dry season and cause of that these these trees they do not shed their leaves all the time it's look green that's why this this is the reason they are called evergreen these trees looked to uh, all the year green in appearance evergreen the thick canopies of the closely spaced trees do not allow the sunlight to penetrate inside the forest even in the day time here thick canopies means the trees very closely uh, very uh, close to one another and that's why during the day time also sunlight can, sunlight um, you know not allowed to penetrate on the ground and even the day time also there is dark during the day time also because of thick canopies hardwood trees like rosewood ebony mahogany are common here see in this picture you can see this these are the thick canopies and cause of these thick canopies uh, as well as trees are very uh, closely linked to one another sunlight do not reach on the surface hence uh, these trees are uh, you know called as evergreen trees they do not shed their uh, leaves during the dry season also because of there is no dry season okay during summer also these trees are not shedding their leaves now the trop tropical deciduous forest especially such type of forest are uh, in india also large part of india which covered by the deciduous forest tropical deciduous are the monsoon forest found in large part of india northern australia and in the central america these regions experience seasonal changes like we can see in uh, summer season lot of heat is there we receive in winter season a uh, lot of cold and in some in um, uh, rainy season 3 to 4 uh, months rainfall and that's why lot of ex uh, ex uh, region regional uh, seasonal changes we receive in our region trees shed their leaves in dry season to conserve water during summer season or during dry season especially trees they shed their leaves down to conserve the water the hardwood trees are found in these forest are means the types of trees especially sal teak neem and shisham which are used to make furniture uh, also their wood we use for uh, to make transport Uh, equipments and constructional material purpose also these trees wood is wood is used then the animals means the wildlife uh, tigers lions elephants langurs means black faced monkey and monkeys are the common animals of these regions as we can see in this tropical evergreen especially anaconda 
uh, which is the world's largest snake which available in this tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest especially amazon uh, amazon uh, which is uh, located on this in this belt tropical belt and amazon is one of the largest forest where thick forest is uh, spread over a huge area and that's why it is also called as heart of the earth here this is the tropical deciduous forest in this manner uh, trees during dry season shedding their leaves to conserve water source now temperate evergreen forest as we know that is on the planet earth if we will see here this is equator this is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn this belt is called as tropical belt and as we go above towards the polar so this belt is called as temperate belt so this region is called as temperate region so here temperate evergreen forest are found over there the temperate evergreen forest are located in the mid latitudinal seas mid latitudinal coastal region the temperate evergreen forest are located in the mid latitudinal coastal region they are commonly found along the eastern margin of the continents such as southeast usa south china and south east brazil these countries where this especially temperate evergreen forest are located they comprise both hard and softwood trees both hardwood trees as well as softwood trees are found in this forest hardwood trees uh, softwood trees like oak pine eucalyptus these trees are found in this temperate evergreen forest so this is uh, this is temperate evergreen forest as these forest are also green in appearance so it is called as evergreen forest and this available in the this found in the temperate belt that's why temperate evergreen forest softwood trees especially for making paper for making um, the other uh, furniture inner part of the furniture temp uh, so, um, soft wood trees are used now temperate deciduous forest temperate deciduous forest are found towards higher latitude higher latitudes from equator 0 degree to the pole polar region that is uh, called as the higher latitudes these are found in northeastern part of usa china new zealand chile and also found in coastal regions of western europe then they shed their leaves in the dry season as uh, these uh, deciduous forest as we have seen tropical deciduous forest so deciduous forest uh, they shed their leaves in during the dry season to uh, to conserve water the common trees are oak ash beech etc as well as wildlife we can see in this uh, temperate deciduous forest deer foxes wolves are the animals commonly found birds like pheasants monals are found here so this is the structure of this temperate deciduous forest as uh, during the dry season these uh, leaves we can uh, see uh, to uh, conserve water tree shedding their leaves trees shed their leaves now mediterranean vegetation mediterranean vegetation mediterranean is one of the name of the sea and uh, this vegetation is found along the along the coast of this mediterranean mediterranean sea that's why this type of vegetation is called as mediterranean vegetation the west and south west margins of the continents are covered with mediterranean vegetation it is mostly found in the areas of in uh, the mediterranean sea in europe africa and asia this kind of vegetation is also found outside the actual mediterranean region in california in the usa south of west africa southwestern uh, south africa and southwest australia see this vegetation is not just only found in the region uh, of mediterranean sea but also in other parts 
सम नॉर्थ अमेरिका एज वेल एज ऑस्ट्रेलिया कॉन्टिनेंट देर ऑल्सो वी कैन सी दिस मेडिटेरियन टाइप ऑफ वेजिटेशन साइट्रस फ्रूट्स सच एज ऑरेंजेस फिक्स ऑलिवस एंड ग्रेप्स आर कॉमनली कल्टिवेटेड हियर इन दिस मेडिटेरियन वेजिटेशन साइट्रस फ्रूट्स आर commonly cultivated citrus fruits uh, which olives uh, which contains uh, includes olives lemon uh, as well as oranges fig etc here this is the type of structure of mediterranean vegetation coniferous forest in the higher latitudes of northern hem northern hemisphere the spectacular coniferous forests are found like you know uh, coniferous forest or uh, coniferous trees uh, are like um, uh, cone in shape like christmas tree one of the best example of this type of the trees coniferous uh, forest uh, in this such a type of trees are found these are also called as taiga taiga forest is also called these forest are also seen in the higher altitudes as we go higher towards uh, higher from the uh, equator to the polar region such a type of trees are found cheer pine cedar are the important variety of trees in this forest see such a type of forest cone like appearance in this and these type of trees are found Uh, in the higher altitude because of see as we go higher uh, towards the higher altitude what is happening temperature become decrease and where uh, the areas receive snowfall if the snow fall on this surface easily uh, due to the such a type of cone like structure easily snow get wipe from that uh, wipe wipe out uh, from the Uh, from the tree or from the leaves and hence such a type of trees are found uh, towards the high altitudes so which are the trees cheer pine cedar are very important species which found in this coniferous forest then wildlife silver fox mink polar bear are the common animals found in this forest so these are the examples of this coniferous forest devdar cedar stika spruce red spruce in our country also if you will go to himalaya uh, himalaya region or towards the himalayan region you can found some of these species of such a type of trees now the grasslands here see vegetation uh, which divided into three parts forest forest part we have studied now we will uh, talk about grasslands grasslands are two types of grasslands grasslands which found near the equator is tropical grasslands and grasslands which found above the equatorial region means uh, temperate region that is called as temperate grasslands tropical glass grasslands these occur on either side of the equator and extended till the tropics now see here this is planet earth equator and in this belt such a type of tropical grasslands are found means this occur on either sides this side and that side also means both the sides of the equator such a type of uh, grasslands are found this vegetation grows in the areas of moderate to low amount of rainfall means this grasslands the areas which receives moderate or low rainfall the grass can grow very tall about 3 to 4 meters in height such as savanna grasslands of africa are of this type so savanna grassland one of the good example of the tropical grasslands elephants zebras giraffe deer leopards are common in tropical grasslands in tropical grasslands most probably herbivorous animals are most probably seen over there and then this uh, based on these herbivorous animals carnivorous animals are also means the animals which depend on the other animals carnivorous animals are also found over here here see this is the tropical grassland savanna grassland here uh, especially we can see animals herbivorous animals grass eating animals as well as carnivorous animals are also 
found so tropical grasslands were very less amount of trees but the uh, availability of grass in uh, huge height means near about 3 to 4 meter high uh, high uh, this grass can grow now the tem temperate grasslands these are found in the mid latitudinal zones and in the interior part of the continents interior part of the continents and above the tropical area usually grass grow here is short and nutritious short as uh, less moisture as well as less availability of heat but this grass is nutritious wild buffaloes bisons antelopes are common in this temperate region so the wildlife found in this region wild buffaloes bisons and antelopes see here this temperate grasslands grass is not tall much grass is not much tall but nutrition as compared to the tropical grasslands many animals uh, which depends on the grass or uh, herbivorous animals most probably found in this region now the third uh, important uh, natural vegetation part that is thorny bushes thorny bushes means the bushes means small plants which uh, which in the form of thorns means which uh, bear the thorns these are found in the dry deserts like regions tropical deserts are located on the western margins of the continents tropical deserts especially um, especially in africa uh, we used to say some part of our country uh, thar desert is there the vegetation cover is scarce here because of scanty rain and scorching heat scanty means very less amount of rainfall and lot of heat scorching heat due to that such a type of vegetation is develop over there so thorny bushes uh, vegetation cover uh, the areas which receives scanty rain and scorching heat is available in such areas here see such a type of uh, scanty uh, such a type of thorny bushes um especially spread on the areas where very less rainfall as well as uh, soil uh, very thin layer of the soil as well as uh, you know sandy soil such a type of soil and the other factors like uh, availability of moisture lot of heat less rainfall in the polar region in the polar region polar means north pole or south pole near the polar region the growth of natural vegetation is very limited because of lot of uh, you know cold over there slanting sunlight over there that's why these places most probably receives very high snowfall only mosses lichens and very small shrubs are found here especially near about in, in during the summer season hardly 2 to 3 months uh, where uh, little amount of heat is available and the shrubs which grow during this uh, dur during this time only found over here it grows during the very short summers because on the both the polar uh, regions we know that is very short summer months are there only uh, hardly two or two and a half or three months which uh, which comes in this uh, seasons this is called tundra type of vegetations where uh, due to very short summer these shrubs not develop that much properly or the plants not develop that much properly so that's why uh, during in these polar regions uh, very less or no natural vegetation cover is there here see most probably mosses and lichens we can found no vegetation cover cause of uh, cause of the area uh, most probably covered by the snow I hope you understood this session thank you have a nice day